I love training legs. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. And my name is Zoe, if you're new to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to the booty workout of the week. Pretty much post one every single week because I love training legs. I also train upper body, but I just don't enjoy it as much as just getting that booty pump, getting that blood in those butt cheeks and just getting a good glute pump. Nothing compares and we all know it. We are going to get into the video. I don't want to blabber on too much. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I really appreciate the support and it makes it lets me know that you guys want to see more of these kind of workout videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure that your bell icon is clicked on so you're notified every time I post a new video. Again, I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Your support means the world to me and that is why I make these videos is for you and for you to get healthier and gain some self-confidence. And I just love helping you guys. Last but not least, please don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And come say hi and let me know where you found me from. If you follow me on Instagram or if you found me on YouTube and then went over to Instagram, um, hi and bye. Because you guys are about to watch this workout. If you guys try out the workout, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to see how you guys love these workouts and if you get as sore as I do because this one left me really freaking sore. So yeah. Let's get into the workout. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with another voiceover. Um, so of course, before the actual workout started, I did do a little bit of warm up on the cardio machine, usually about five to 10 minutes, just to get the heart rate up a little bit. And then of course I did my glute activation techniques before actually starting on my leg day. And I will go ahead and link both of those below for you. Um, we're just gonna start off with some barbell banded squats. Now for these, I'm using the slingshot band you can also use the regular synergy bands which i also recommend um, those are the ones that i use for my glute activation but basically what i've been doing on my leg days lately is just starting off with a compound movement so usually i will start my leg days off with either some variation of a squat a back squat and then on days that i'm not squatting i will do some variation of a hip thrust um, and really try to go as heavy as possible obviously still using correct form with these you can't go as heavy just because the band as a um, a level of difficulty and your outer glutes will definitely feel the burn. What I want you to focus on with the banded squats is just pushing those knees out towards your pinky toes the entire time, making sure that they don't concave in at all. You want to make sure that you're pushing through with those heels and really focusing on activating those glutes the entire time. So you really want to focus on squeezing the glutes in uh, throughout the entire movement basically. Um, and again, you're going to want to keep that chest up, your back straight, and just really focus, most important, on keeping those knees out the entire time. And then we're going to do this for four sets, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to take the band off, and you're going to do a regular set without band of as many reps as possible. So this is my last set without the bands, and it just... Adds, I feel like once you take the band off, it feels honestly a lot easier, and then you can just rep out as many as possible. All right, guys, we're going to move into our next uh, superset. Well, the first one wasn't a superset, but our first superset of the workout, basically. So we're going to be doing these two exercises back to back and then resting. So we're going to start off with hip thrusts. Now you can do the hip thrust a variation of ways. I've just been enjoying this way lately. I've also done it on the Smith machine before, and it's very effective there as well. But basically, you're just going to use a barbell. Um, you're going to have your shoulder blades on the bench, and you're just going to want to focus on pushing through with those heels and really squeezing your glutes at the top. And then we're going to superset that with banded hip thrust into clamshell. So basically what you're going to do, is you're going to go all the way up and then out with those knees into a clamshell and this burns like no other. Um, by the way, the entire workout is going to be listed below in the description box for you guys to screenshot and take it to the gym with you if you'd like. Again guys, here is the hip thrust, so here's a different angle a little bit. Um, you're, you want your feet to be at a 90 degree angle when you come all the way up. 
Um, so kind of play around with what feels best. I also have a barbell pad on the, on the barbell so that if my hip bones don't get all bruised and whatnot, I will link that below as well for you guys because that's definitely an essential thing when doing this exercise. Alright guys, moving into our next superset, we're going to be using the reverse hyper machine. Now if you don't have this machine, um, you can also do this movement without weight on just the edge of a bench or something like that. Um, I know a lot of gyms don't have this machine obviously, so I'm trying to find a different alternative other than just at the end of the bench, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, obviously because with weights it is a lot more difficult. And then we're going to superset that with just um, banded. These are the ones that you can obviously do at the end of a bench. All right, guys, moving into our next superset, we're gonna start off with split squats. What I want you to focus on for this exercise is obviously pushing through with that front heel. You're gonna be working that um, butt cheek that is, so this one will be working your left side. So you really wanna focus on pushing through with that heel and really getting the most out of this exercise. <clears throat> your back foot can be flexed or, um, or laid on it like this. I do use both depending on just what I feel like for the day. Um, this exercise is always difficult to balance on, even for me, and I've been doing it for three to four years now, so don't feel like you're not gonna get anywhere because you can't balance all the way. If you need to hold on to something, you can also do that. Then we're gonna move straight into um, RDLs with the dumbbells. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and for this, I want you to focus on keeping those dumbbells close to your shins, really keeping most of the weight in your heels and pulling up with those hamstrings. Right, guys and for our last and final booty burnout little um, exercise here we're going to be doing again the hip thrust into clamshell I just like to do this at the end of my workout because I just feel like it just burns everything out and I just do it until I can't possibly do it anymore and I feel like crying so that is the end of this workout guys I hope you enjoyed it please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye